Today, we're gonna smoke this beautiful turkey from Horst Farms out of Tunis, Missouri. They practice regenerative farming, which is better for the environment, the water, the soil, the animals, and your family. Before we get started with this bird, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go out and get the Golden's Cast Iron Cooker prepped and ready to go. So this is our Golden's Cast Iron Cooker. All the components are made from solid cast iron. The cart is made from 100% domestically sourced steel. So if you like buying American, then this is the cooker for you. This is built to last generations. The durability of our industrial grade cast iron means that it is going to outlast anything on the market today. It is built with materials that are gonna allow for a more even, well thought out cook. Our patented hinge system is cast integral into the top and bottom, meaning there's no adjustments that ever need to be made. Our ceramic competitors use bands or hose clamps that have bolts on the side and those bolts will over time rust and loosen up and, and there'll be misalignments here. But with our cooker, it's never an issue for you, your great grandchildren or your great great grandchildren. For this cook, we're going to be using our divider plate. It is perfect for two zone cooking. For spatchcock turkeys, it's great because we'll place the dark meat over the hot side of the fire and the white meat over the cool side of the fire. Our firebox is one solid piece of cast iron. There's no seams, which means it's great because there's no smoke or heat loss through those seams like our ceramic competitors. We can burn any fuel source you'd like to in it as well. We're not just limited to lump charcoal. We can use briquettes, we can use lighter fluid. We can even use some green stove wood you got lying around if you have some hickory that you'd like to burn. Speaking of charcoal, today we're going to be using our Golden's Cast Iron Premium Lump Charcoal. It's a blend of 75% oak, 25% mesquite, and it is perfect for any cook. We're gonna enhance it today with a little bit of cherry wood chunks. This is gonna add just a little bit of beautiful flavor into the smoke and it's gonna penetrate the turkey beautifully. Also, we're gonna light the fire with some all natural fire starters. You can choose to use whatever you'd like. Now that we've got the Golden's Cast Iron Cooker set up, we're gonna go inside, get the turkey spatchcocked and seasoned. Today we're gonna to spatchcock the turkey and it's very simple. All you do is you remove the backbone out of the turkey. This allows for a very simple, even cook throughout the whole bird. Removal's easy. You just take your kitchen shears and cut down the side of the backbone. Once you finish, be sure to save this and put it aside. It's really gonna make for a good stock. Remove the innards. Cut the wishbone. Splay it flat. Pat the bird dry. Use mayonnaise as a binder and cover the whole surface. First layer of seasoning, salt, pepper, and garlic. Layer Heath Riles chicken rub. Flip the bird and repeat the process. Salt, pepper, and garlic. Layer the Heath Riles chicken rub. This stuff is dynamic and flavorful. You can cover it over the whole surface. Add patties of butter in between the skin and the breast meat for a beautiful flavor. Now we're ready to grill. Cooker at 300 degrees. Check the smoke for that blue transparent goodness. Be sure to spray the grates with some cooking oil. That way the turkey won't stick. So again, it's important to remember, we're gonna take our turkey. We're gonna put the dark meat over the hot side. And the white meat over the cool side. Look at this big old bird in here. Looks great. All right, so we're gonna let this sit and cook for about an hour. Uh, we're gonna come back and butter it with a little base that we have. Uh, and then we're also going to uh, put a temperature probe in it and check it at that time. So stick with us. Golden's Cast Iron is a five-generation family-owned foundry, manufacturing cast iron products continuously in Columbus, Georgia since 1882. Grassroots is a farmer-owned co-op. 
with over 40 farms across rural America. Farmers earn a fair wage to continue providing Americans with the healthiest meat to put on their tables. Welcome back, guys. We're going to give the bird a check. It's been on for a little over an hour now. I can tell that the uh, internal temperature of the breast at this time is about 124 degrees. I'm going to let that cook to around 160. Uh, it is on the cool side of the fire like we talked about earlier. And I've made this wonderful little butter base, garlic, chives. This is just what I happen to have in the kitchen. But if you've got rosemary, thyme, anything like that, this is just going to melt down and we're going to base the turkey with it and brown that skin up really nicely. Look how well this bird turned out. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you to Horst Farms and Grassroots for providing us with this beautiful bird. This has been a marvelous, marvelous experience for us. We hope that your family has a marvelous holiday season. So from our family to yours, thank you so very much for spending some time with us. We certainly do appreciate you.